Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we went to Leon's battle tower and did some battles there until we fought Leon. In this episode, let's return to the arena. Because there's something we can do here at the stadium now. Uh, you know little girl Leon's been defeated, right? So we have an ability to do something here at the stadium now that we became champion. You champion, your battle had me in tears. Oh, it's Donnie. He, Donnie's so cool. Welcome, champion Donnie. The tournaments here are always open to you, of course. Want to give it, give one a try, don't you? Why, of course. Is there a particular trainer you'd like to invite to take part in the tournament today? There is someone. So, with the, so, this is a little something we can do, which is basically title defense. Where, once you become champion, when you return to the uh, Pokemon League, you can fight in the Pokemon League to defend your title. Uh, generally, the trainers will be a bit stronger now, because uh, since this is post-game. And, and a lot of trainers can come up to battle you. Now, how Sword and Shield does it is that... You have the ability to invite people into the tournaments. Because everybody uh, has a uh, percentage of how often they show up. So the gym leaders like uh, like Bede, Milo, Nessa, they'll show up very frequently. Uh, certain characters, however, you have to invite. Like, for example, Leon here, you have to invite him to the tournament for him to show up. I don't think Leon will ever show up on his own. Pop will sometimes show up, but more times out of 10, you need to invite him. Now, how inviting a trainer to the tournament works is that you need to possess that character's rare league card to invite them. So if you come here and you're wondering, hey, why can't I not invite Leon? Why can't I not invite Hop? Uh, if you do not possess their rare league card, you cannot invite them. So if you want to invite most of the cast, uh, you need to do the Sword and Shield st storyline as that gets you most of the characters' um, rare lead cards. Uh, the only characters who rare lead cards you cannot get from the Sword and Shield uh, line is uh, Marnie's lead card as you get it from the simply battling her back at Spikesmith. Leon, you need to complete the Swordbird and Shieldbird storyline to get access to the Battle Tower, and you need to defeat Leon at least once in the Battle Tower to get his card. So yeah, if you come here right away and you're wondering why you cannot invite anybody, or why the character you want to invite isn't popping up in your list, that is the reason why. So let's invite Hop. Very good, looks like your invitation's been accepted. I'd like to take you through to the pitch now, and good luck. So here's the bracket. There's also some random trainers who will also show up in the tournament. Which I'm surprised so many random trainers have shown up. And only one gym leader. But we get to fight Hop in our first match. So let's get ready. Let's head out to the pitch. I want to become a legend in Galar. No, a legend of a ho for, for the whole world. And if I want to do that, I need to beat both you, you and my big bro. So let's have our rematch with Hawk. I was hoping Hop would at least appear in the second or finals. But he's our first match. And we at least get to hear his awesome battle theme again. So yeah, Hop's Pokemon are pretty much in their 70s. So this is a tougher fight. Blast away that double.
Out comes the Snorlax, so let's switch out Ethan to Hydro. So I don't want Ethan to be Earthquake to death. And Hammer Armed. Yeah! Yeah! Time to brick and break. Yeah! 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 I uh, love this version of Hop Speed. Ooh, he's bringing out Somerset already! I believe in this battle, Hop will bring out Somerset uh, or Session at any time. It isn't like his final battle in, um, in the Swordbird and Shieldbird story, or where he will always send out that Pokemon last. I gotta say, these people in the stadium are lucky to see a legendary Pokemon. Alex Pyroballet. Take the shot. Hope he's going for an iron defense, so... Would that be enough to, to survive the next uh, Pyroball? I don't think so. I think this will this will be a KO. Yep. And we grew to level Alex grew to level 78. Time for a boom. Also, when you uh, challenge Hop for a rematch, um, Hop will not send out his starter last. He will send out his starter last in a rematch uh, later on, but I'm going to touch on that when we get to that point. Hey, there goes his Raboom. Ethan grew to level 78. He's gonna bring out his Corbin Knight. I think this is his last Pokemon. Let me check his Pokeballs. Yeah, unnerve. Yep, this is his last Pokemon. So let's Dynamax. Send out the ball. And summon the giant fireball. Yep, in this battle, he will instead Dynamax his Corviknight. Which is Corviknight. I believe this is a regular. Uh, Corviknight. I believe this is not the Gigamax form. But we just blasted away. Hydro and Kara grew to level 78. Ugh, gutted. You're always one step ahead of me, mate. Even the pages detailing my defeats will add to my tale of, br of, of my brilliant legend. But I don't plan on losing to you again. As your rival, I promise I'll win next time. Let's see, so Dune, is, Dune a regular-ass trainer, made it. 
Uh, Milo made it to the semifinals, so we could potentially uh, see him in the finals. Also, something I didn't mention, every trainer has a certain uh, chance of winning. So, like, gym leaders have a higher chance of winning, winning than regular trainers. I believe Hop will always win, or at least has a very high chance of winning if he's in a tournament. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure that if you invite Leon to a tournament, he cannot be defeated by anybody. I'm grateful for this chance to defeat the champion, even though the gym challenge is over. Trying to fight a regular ass trainer. And Sendaconda, not the greatest first Pokemon for Gleam to take on. But the one thing is that regular trainers are pathetically weak. As we will see their levels briefly. Their levels are pretty much, I think, your equivalent levels you would likely be when you uh, got to this point in the game. But yeah, they are basically very little to no friends. And of course, the Sandaconda has Sand Spit. Up at the attack rose, and I believe, yep, it's defense rose. And accuracy. Play rough again. And I thought play rough missed for a second. Ooh, here comes an earthquake, but Gleam should be able to shake it off. Play rough one more time, Gleam. And down goes the Sand Snake. Doug Trio, let me guess, your entire team are ground types. Let's bring out Violet. Alright, I'm expecting Doug Trio, despise, despise it being many levels uh, beneath me, it's going to be faster. Yep. Doug Trio is in insanely fast. Moon blasted away. Violet grew to level 78. Ooh, Flygon! Let's keep Violet out there. Violet unleashed the power on the moon on this dragon! Oh god! Blast it away! your next book while well, the sandstorm's gone mudstale let's bring out hydro Hydro, strike down that that muddy horse. Yeah, stamina ain't gonna save you.
Everybody getting experience. Alex is level 79. Clay doll. I think I'll keep Alex out. Ooh, the final Pokemon. So let's Dynamax. And also, I think another thing the regular trainers will not do is that they will not Dynamax their Pokemon. So you can utterly destroy them with the power of Dynamax and Gigamaxing. Ba ba ba! Bring down the waters, destroy him! And that clay doll is reduced to nothing as the rain of victory pours down on the stadium. Your Pokemon are so strong. It's like I'm battling the very land of Galar region. Now I know why I couldn't beat you during the gym challenge. But I promise someday I'll become strong. Ong, as strong as the lands of Galar. Ooh, and Milo made it to the end. So our final opponent is Milo. Yeah, let's start off with Kara. And go out and meet the gym leader Milo. Don't think I'm the same Milo as in the gym challenge. You're you're the great champion. After all, it would be rude not to go all out. I'm pretty sure I butchered Milo's voice because I don't even think that even sound remotely close to how I did him earlier in the series. We're facing Milo. Starts off with a shift tree. Time to give him an X. A blossom. Let's keep Kara out. Hey, Blossom, how do you feel about the power of X? Ooh, you actually hang in there. I'll be setting up a sunny day, so if I send out Alex, he's gonna have a field day with your Pokemon, Milo. Bring in another X scissor, and I'm surprised you didn't try to heal. At least you do a de decent amount of damage to Kara. Elder Goss. No, I'll keep Kara out there. Yeah, Elder Goss, I am expecting it to survive uh, X Scissor, because I know Elder. Well, it's definitely going to survive. It's going to protect for a turn, but yeah, I remember Elder Goss being somewhat tanky. Come on, bring another X. Oh no, it actually... So wait, Elder Goss, who's more defensive, survived the over Blossom? I thought Elder Goss has higher defenses over Blossom. Cheer him. I believe this Pokemon is going to benefit from Sunny Day. Yep, because this Pokemon's going to transform. Ooh. 
least it's a form that you rarely get to see, because I don't think many people will use this Pokemon in a sunny day. Hey, right, let's bring in the X. Kara leveled up. And the sun has faded. Flappy! Bring in Violet. Now, Milo here is a very special case. His final Pokemon will actually be different depending on the version you are playing. If you're playing Pokemon Sword, he will have a... a uh, this Pokemon, Lapai. Uh, if you are playing Shield, he will have an Apple Tum instead. But anyway, it's time to go full power. Also, on set, I can't wear my champion outfit in this in, in title defense because it would be really great. Here comes his, his Gigamax. It's a giant apple pie! Violet, bring down the stars and end this battle. And we did it! The power of grass types has been withered. You're quite the champion. Soon you'll be the one to face down the gym challenges aiming for your title. I can't wait to see what talent grows. And we won on the championship. Congratulations on another victory. Please take your reward. You're on a real roll, champion. Let me offer my ultra great congratulations. I'm really feeling bold over here. So here, take this and have a ball battling. We get a wishing piece. For completing the title defense for the first time, he is guaranteed to give you a wishing, a wishing piece. A every other time, he will give you a different item. We look forward to your visit. So that is title offense. So in the next episode, I think it's time we finally leave, leave this part of the Galar region and head back to the Isle of Armor to see what waits for us there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do, do spread the content around, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Later.